All right. All right, everybody. What's up? Tristan Shop Talk, and I'm here with Donovan Manuel. Man, <laughs> I knew I was going to butcher that one, man. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But Donovan Man. Manual. Manual, yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. But I, I felt in me to say it the other way I had said it originally, and yeah, I messed that up, man. Like, it's an Hispanic name. I'm not going to tell somebody how to say a name <laughs> that's from their own culture, you know? But, uh, well, no, but I'm not even, like, Spanish-speaking even from the beginning. It's just oh. weird. Like, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just in Manuel. I don't know. It just seems like... But I guess I do have... I don't even have cousins named Manuel, but I'm just saying it just seems common, first thing. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like I have two first names, Donovan Manuel. Yeah. Manuel. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because people say the same thing with me that I have two first last, like two last names. Because I'm Daniel and then Tristan. And but I usually, like, usually go by Tristan. <laughs> and then when I was like, yeah, just I'm just used to now Tristan and then everything's Tristan's shop talk. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, man, I guess everything's working. Just making sure. Yeah, all right. Looking at it. I always do that in the first part of it because it's not like I don't have like a sound engineer out to the side. <laughs> but no, nah, man, thank you for coming. Uh, like like I said, I was I was uh, going back in time and uh, I had said that I had remember seeing you at the Paradigm Smoker and this was years, three or four years ago. That was almost two and a half years ago. Yeah. yeah. So I remember that and then I, I had... I had saw you and then you competed against one of the other guys i trained with was a muay thai or kickboxing and then um but yeah man you put it to him bro like <laughs> <laughs> i remember that shit man yeah. and then that's and then and then uh then no but it was weird because I, I i remember the hair it was the hair bro because then i went i think i ended up after a rockets game I ended up at um dirt bar and i think you were working the door there yeah and then I noticed it, I was like, and then it just fit to me because I was like, yo, bar, security, MMA. I was like, yeah, this is him. <laughs> and then sure enough, you were like, yeah, that's me. I was like, yeah, dude, I remember, I remember you. I was like, you want to get Jose? And then the first question I had brought up was uh, your cardio. Yeah. And then, then I asked you and you're like, yeah, man, I run like four times a week, like three to four miles a day. Yeah. And I'm like, I knew it. I was like, I fucking knew it because <laughs> I saw it. I saw it, man. And then. Cause to be all, I mean, I hate. I'm not knocking, you know, but uh, the 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 cardio was in, but not not in your opponent. You could see the lag, and you could see the difference. Yeah, he was a chubby boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much, man. <laughs> I mean, because you, you, I, I saw it, and then what I was doing, I was, I think, I don't know, I think I was saying some, like, I, I yeah, yeah, because I was the guy on the mic, so I was playing music for that smoker, and then at the end of the fight, I'll be like, you know, over or, or time, or whatever. And then y'all would hear it, and then obviously you would stop because y'all would all get y'all were getting into it. Yeah, I think it was two two minute rounds or th three minute rounds. It was two minute rounds. Two minute rounds. Yeah. Two rounds, right? It's only two rounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you might as well get your get the hell out. Yeah, you might as well just put it all in there in the yeah, two minutes. When it's a two minute round, you don't even have to think about it. You just go because by the time you get warmed up, the round's already over. So yeah. you don't have to think about it. Just go, and you don't want to have like any regrets. Like, oh, I never got started. So and the smokers, my coach would just tell me, just go. Like, don't yeah. think about it. Just go. Yeah, so, so I, I went when, when, I mean, you saw it, man. And then, because uh, I, I even remember he kind of gave a double take because he was like, oh, shit, like, damn, this dude's like, what the fuck? He's all over the place. He's quick, man. Yeah. Like, I don't even know where he's going. Yeah, that, that last finishing sequence, <clears throat> he, uh, I think I caught him with a jab coming in. And then he, I, I pressed him into the cage. And then he tried to, like, come forward with some wild throws. Uh, with his hands and uh, did like a wild spinning back fist and I saw it and I just weaved and just hit him with two hooks. <laughs> I think you jumped up in the air at one point. I hit him with like two, three hooks and then I need him. So yeah. like it was like a like I flew into it, but he was already like in the turtle position and I need him. <laughs> and then everybody was like, "Yeah, this is too much." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because because y'all were in the cage and I remember that. But yeah, man. So but. Okay, so using that as a mark, that was yeah. what we say three years ago. So it was 2020. So it had to be like right before COVID or was it during COVID? No, that was after COVID. COVID. That was right after COVID. When it started, everything started building up again. Yeah, yeah okay. So then before that, because um, how old are you? How are you? I'm 23. 23, okay. So then you were 20 at the time. 
yeah, I, or I just my birthday's in January, so I think I just had my twenty first birthday when that happened. Oh, wow! So um, you and then you obviously before that you had how long you had you been training in um in like I guess just yeah because I know you're doing jujitsu and then uh, but I don't know I mean I guess we'll get into which one you started first but I guess that be the answer to the question. Yeah, so <laughs> I've been training. So I started really young, uh, doing you know, Taekwondo, karate, and kickboxing. My mom, she was really into, she loved karate. She loved kickboxing. Oh, and, yeah. uh, so she had me going to the gym with her when I was like five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. In, born and raised in Houston then? Uh, no, Wichita, Kansas. Oh, wow. So okay. I was born in Wichita, Kansas. And I don't remember really much about it living mm-hmm. there from a young age. I know when I was really young, maybe about two years old, my mom, she got a job doing physical therapy in Houston. Mm-hmm. So uh, we've been here forever, as long as I can remember. Uh, but yeah, she would have me in kickboxing classes with her, and I would be in there pretty much three, four nights out the week, and we would we would do that. And uh, as I got older, I got away from kickboxing because I started playing more like football, basketball, baseball. All yeah, that in high stuff. school and middle school. And then um, in about 2020, I was playing football at a D2 school mm-hmm. in... I just was like, I could continue to go to school and play football, or mm-hmm. I could be a fighter. Mm-hmm. And because uh, I was getting into MMA at that time, and I was watching a lot of fights, and I was like, yo, like, if I'm going to train, I need to start now. And I knew I wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to do it, and I had like an itch to start training. But at the time, <laughs> you you were already physically fit because yeah, was, of uh, yeah. because of the, yeah. the sports you were already involved yeah, in. Yeah, definitely. It was, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. They had us, uh, we had a very tough strength and conditioning program and they were they were hard on us nice um but yeah i wanted to i wanted to fight so i moved back home and i started training at heritage uh at first i was doing the muay thai classes you know i was doing like two where's heritage at it's in the uh heights garden oaks area right on west 34th street okay okay yeah okay so it's center town pretty much it's pretty ducked off yeah yeah, yeah, it's okay um I started at Heritage, and you know we was doing like two classes, uh, back to back Muay Thai, and then sparring, and then Jiu Jitsu. At the end, uh, we went through about four or five Jiu Jitsu instructors at Heritage before we got uh, settled in with Eves. Nice. Um, you know, you know, nothing, nothing wrong. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. It was like at first it was like too many guys was getting hurt, or it was like uh, people weren't showing up, and then it wasn't as serious as it was now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now it's grown. Yeah, but originally it was just I was doing a lot of Muay Thai twice a day, every day, just watching Muay Thai fights. Just I was all about Muay Thai. Nice. And then uh, that's about the time I did the Paradigm Smoker. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So. Yeah. So before that, how long you? So we had what, maybe a so year. So like um, uh, bef- two. like serious training yeah. before the smoker, a year. Oh, nice, bro. But uh, I, like I said, I was I did kickboxing before. Like I did t- kickboxing tournaments. So I was doing no, but I mean, tournaments. obviously, you. I'm sure you got more sparring. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 definitely. And that you got like you yeah. were you were like, like okay. serious yeah, training. Yeah, yeah, a year, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. And so yeah. and then then you did that, and then that's where I saw you. Yeah, and then uh, I did like another smoker the week later, and I knocked the kid clean out. Well, not even kid. This is a grown man, but I knocked him smooth out. Like it was it was bad. It was too bad. And then Eves told me, he was like, yeah, you're not allowed to do any more smokers. So <laughs> I had my amateur debut that summer. So like a month or two later. See, man, I knew it. See, I knew it. Because so, yeah. like I said, I, I saw it when I was like, like, like I was like starting it, starting the fight and yeah. then like just yelling it and then, uh, you know, time. And then, and then when I saw, I was like, yo, man, that, that, that dude's pretty, because, uh, you know, I was thinking to myself the whole night, like, like, you know, of course you, you have, you you see your good ones like your good fights and you're yeah. like some shit you want to see or you know i'm you know some you know good moves pretty much man like you know you're seeing something so yeah 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 you, i knew it man yeah <laughs> so then um since then i, I know you've done some fury I, I was trying to find you and see but i don't know if there's any on there uh, for fury yeah, yeah i don't know if you're on on uh on there because i can bring it up on youtube but, but okay so but i i know when when so after the smoker, you did another one, knock, you know, knocked the guy out, and then after that, did you, of course, still just training, huh? Yeah, just kept training. Um, I think I was in welding school at the time, where I just finished welding school, so I had a job working in a metal shop, nice uh, as a like a shop hand, 
And uh, I was training and doing both of that at the same time while I was training for my amateur debut. So uh, work was cool. Like I, I enjoyed it. I was working with my hands. I was learning stuff. And I didn't, wasn't really thinking about it. I was like, oh, yeah, everybody works, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I was training and I had my amateur debut and I won first round TKO. Yeah. And then I went back to work that next week. And I was like, yo, why am I here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, why am I here right now? Like, I could really just be at the gym training. I could find another job. Like, this, it'll be all right. Like, I want to fight. So I stopped going to work and just started training. I, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, all, so obviously you put all, all your cards in. Yeah. You know, all the chips down. Yeah, know? I mean, yeah. I still work. Like, I bartend yeah. on the side. I do gigs on the side, you know, but Is, I want to fight. Do you fight. still well? Uh... At home, like, um, yeah. me and my stepdad, uh, we do projects. Like, he'll pull out some stuff and want me to help him. Nice, and, yeah. Uh, we we both got the welding hoods, and, you know, we'll we'll do some work, you know. Yeah, because yeah, that's, what, that's what we do here, too. Yeah. So, yeah, we have that over there in the, in the shop. There. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, but cool. Um, so, yeah, yeah, so now it's, it's uh, now, you're pretty much you're an amateur fighter, I would say. I mean, you're... You're, I mean, you're in it now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because now you've been, since then, it's what, now going two years, three years strong now? Yeah. yeah. And then, so I'm training like three or four times a week or what? Uh, I'm training pretty much every day but Sunday. So Monday yeah. through Thursday, it's two a days. Nice. Uh, in the morning, and then I come back in the evening for another session. And then Fridays, I train in the morning, and uh, I might go back for evening session, or I might just train in the morning, we have a hard session. Saturday sparring, uh, and Sundays I usually take that day off. And I'm sorry, the camp that. And so you are you still at, so you're still at the same obviously the same place. Off yeah, thirty uh, fourth. Yeah, I train at Heritage with uh, Ease Edwards, the team, the Jitsu team. Okay, yeah. so so that that's your home then. Yeah, that's that's the spot. That's yeah, the spot. Yeah. I love it there. I yeah, love it. Yeah, because yeah. um, and then do you do you ever go to other different places to spar? Or usually, just stay there. Mm, I went to War. A few times mm -hmm. uh, I like going over there uh, I have friends That train there um, They have a lot of bodies Yeah They yeah, give yeah. a lot of Different looks You know yeah. So I, You know I'll go there But uh, It's getting to the point Right now where I'm pretty busy Already Just training With my guys So I I, I rarely get the opportunity To just say Oh I have some time Right so, Yeah and, and how many fights Have you had at Fury Already For Fury I've had Four fights Wow I had two fights outside of Fury. Wow. So one in BFC in Louisiana and then one for Elevate MMA for their title, their championship fight. Mm -hmm. I won their title. Uh, in Fury, I'm actually working on a title fight in November. Oh, wow. So okay. that'll be my fifth fight for Fury. Okay. Yeah. And see, and I need to go. Time, time on my end and just like making time to go because... I feel that fury thing, man. You, it's it's good to be there. I mean, because it starts early. Yeah. And I know it's a lot of fights in that. It's a lot of fights on one card. Yeah. Uh, it's like what, like thirty fights or something like that. They usually schedule probably about like twenty four, twenty five fights. Yeah. But like you know, as the time to the fights comes, like the card usually dwindles down a little bit. Yeah, like yeah. Guys disappear. Yeah, and then, like, yeah, yeah. That always trips me out because even the smokers, like, there were some guys that just didn't show up. They just disappeared. Like, yeah, I was like, dude, that's so weird. Like, and that's why I don't even like, because even when I was training, they like some of the guys would be like, "Hey, man, when are you gonna do it?" And I'm like, I just know, like, I I don't have time right now to, to put all my time into it. So why, you know? And then at the time when it comes, and it's almost like a test, you know, because yeah. you can't can't miss the test you know can't miss it yeah you, you already signed up for the test man that's how i see it yeah. but not everybody sees it that way nah, I feel. ready or not you gotta yeah. perform right now how are you right now <clears throat> and uh yeah, it's a test but then i mean obviously we see it now like when a lot of the fights at ufc you know a lot of those guys some of the guys aren't accountable for their weight you know you know when they when they're supposed to show up and weigh in and they, they don't weigh up yeah and then then boom they get moved and then the guys get moved and the other guys get screwed over but that uh, that weight cut that's a hard thing like that's a real hard thing and like you never know you never know if somebody just had enough but i don't know i never miss weight <laughs> no i mean that's what i'm saying like everybody knows like like for a fact that that's part of the that's it's part that, of it. that's part of it you it's know that, that that's part of the job i mean that i mean fight fight i i always feel like it's like relative to like anything else like you know like painting a car or 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 like there's the easy part of just doing it like just painting, yeah. 
but it's the prep. Prep yeah. work is what, but yeah. you, the prep work, doing all the prep work is the, the, the hurting part, the part that you're like, man, I, I got to prep, man, you know, because the easy part is just doing it. It's just, I mean, not, not the easy part, but it's pretty much. That's the natural part. Yeah, it's the it's natural, just, yeah, where everything just comes in naturally from yeah. your training and everything you've learned. And then you're just mentally just there, you know. Yeah. And but then like you like we're going back, like some guys just disappear because disappear. of the fact <laughs> they disappear for a, a lot of different reasons. Who knows why somebody might disappear? That somebody they I heard a lot of excuses. Like I've had opponents pull out because they said they hurt themselves, but I'm uh you know, I look at their Facebook and I don't know, the grandma died. So I don't know, maybe they, they could be sad, I don't know. You never know. <laughs> That's all I'm but saying. But see, I, I would <laughs> I would even think it'd be more reason to keep your mind off of whatever's really going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then because for that's one thing, that's what I thing, would do. Yeah, I mean that's that would be a natural thing for me too. I mean, it's just like like just to finish off like and and whatever happens happens. You know, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I think you would put that aside, and I mean, I just feel if you step out of your not being normal, and then you're like your normal thing is to just go fight, you know. Yeah. But then if you're going like nah, like I don't feel right. Uh, yeah, it, that's how you get down. That's how you get. Yeah, yeah it's kind of. Some people just don't have it. Some people just don't want to fight, and that's what we're doing this for. Right? That's what the amateurs are for—to figure out who wants to fight and who doesn't. But see, but see, and then there, I mean, we—I mean, I can't even use the Sonya and uh, Strickland as an example. You know, yeah. I mean, I don't know what happened with Sonya, man. And then I mean, but see, even before the fact, I already kind of knew that that you can't be too. Uh, um, can't you be gung like can't can't too arrogant because if you're too arrogant, you know. I mean, because the the man Strickland's still a big man, yeah. And and the dude fights, you know. I, I'd seen him fight prior before that, and 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 he fights very orth- unorthodox and very like just I don't know, very different. But but I mean, he knocked out Asanya, you know. I mean, and then Asanya after the fact apparently wasn't there. Maybe he and then you know that that's where I I mean me knowing just knowing and just. You know, knowing about sparring, I mean, to be honest, man, I mean, I, I just, I can count how many injuries I've had. And, dude, like, I still had to work because, I mean, so I wasn't, like, all in. Yeah. So, I mean, I still, like, I had to step out, step away. But, I mean, I can only imagine, like, when when things aren't just so perfectly aligned and maybe they weren't with for Asanya. Maybe just, maybe something was going on personal. Yeah. I mean, it could be anything. I it mean, could who, be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. But... That's all part of winning, you know. Winning is like, like it's it's a, it's a, it's a weird game, you know. And especially in the fighting game, you know, it's true, you know. The the like, one minute they could be hot and heavy, and the next minute they can be nothing. That's what happened with Sonya. And Sonya, I would say, would be more of a, but but people, some people don't really look at what it really really is. I mean, dude, the dude was training, man. The dude was training for how many, you know, for all those fights for Perrier. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm Perrier, I'm saying it wrong, but yeah, yeah. but for Alex. But, I mean, they, like, like all, I mean, maybe he did overtrain. Maybe he was overtrained. Maybe, I mean, it could, like, like we said, it could be a number of things. But I just feel as an athlete, especially a fighter, I mean, man, it, it, it's, 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 uh, it's a tough game. It's a tough <laughs> game. It's a hard, it's the hardest game, you know. It's a crazy game, yeah. but. Sean Strickland, Adesanya, Adesanya, he's, they're both characters, you know? Yeah. I don't think either one of them is playing a role. No, like, you're right. No, no, you're right. Yeah, they're yeah. both definitely being themselves, mm-hmm. and it sometimes being yourself can come off as arrogant, especially to somebody who doesn't like you <laughs> for whatever reason, and they just want a reason to not like you. It could come off as a, arrogance, but they... I mean, if you were the world champion for so many title fights, so many title defenses, I mean, you would develop some sort of complex, you know? Yeah, yeah, right. And it, it just might come off as you being an arrogant person. And the hardest part about being at the top for so long is everybody's watching you, so your game gets no, dissected. That, no, that's that's and that's what I'm saying. I can, I can't I can't I can only simp. I mean, I can only just think or sympathize. I guess. I mean, I, I've never been in that place, but go, uh, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, but you you've been in the cage, so I mean, I can only imagine, man. I mean, you go in the cage, you're going in the cage. It's you know, it's it's, it's a done deal after that, you know. Yeah. And then you know, whoever comes out comes out, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, but I mean, the, and, and that's, yeah. I mean, I just put I put I've put MMA, boxing. I mean, even when I was younger, I mean, I'm 
43 now. I mean, I used to look up to watching Mike Tyson, and, and it, we were just it, it, even like I, I've always talked about that. I think I brought it up a few times before. We were spoiled because it was weird, and even at the time, it seemed like that was normal. Like that was normal. Like literally paying like at the time whatever money for the pay per view, yeah. turn it on, blah blah, get everything out, drinks, cokes, whatever, and then sit there, and then first round, bro, he knocks him out like every time, and then I like and then and then. Of course, now that I'm older, and then of course the theory is, is like maybe, like maybe he was just too good, man. And then they just put all these things in front of him, and the things, you know, I don't know. Maybe he was just too good. So that's why I said, man, it, it's it's. But I, I mean, I, I think that's. I mean, I, I just relate always like the training for fighting, yeah. uh, training for. I mean, but like I said, I, I put fighting, you know, basketball, football. I mean, I hate to say, it. I mean, I put those sports up there as in because, I mean, those those are physical sports, you know. Well, maybe not really basketball, but I would say football. Fo- but you know what I'm saying, like like, phys- like physical with, yeah. with another person, you know, like where you're actually, you know, you better be ready, man, yeah. you know, because um, even me, man, I mean, just even sparring, man, I, I've gotten, I've scared myself with just guys almost hitting, like hitting me or, I mean, I've, I've gotten days, I've gotten dinged and, you know, and it's just like. It's not a good feeling, but it yeah. but it teaches you something. It does every time. Yeah, it teaches it teaches you what not to do next time. Every time, there's been days that I come in, <sighs> and you know, everybody's gonna have their day in the gym. Like, yeah. don't ever think that you're gonna come to the gym and you're gonna be invincible every day, three hundred sixty five yeah, days yeah. out of the year. Don't never think that because yeah, everybody's gonna have their day. You know, I I came to the gym during sparring sessions where guys where I usually piece up. You know, do whatever I want with them. <laughs> All of a sudden, they're out there looking like <laughs> prime, you know, Conor McGregor or some piece of me, dotting me up. Yeah. And there's sometimes you got to go home and think about some stuff, you know. Yeah, relax, you're, you know? yeah, yeah. And anybody that trains enough knows that. Like, we're not going to go and talk about it afterwards, but, you know, we, yeah. we're going to sit down and we're going to look at each other. We're going to respect each other at the end of the day. Right. Like, everybody is going to be humbled, you know. And if you haven't been humbled, keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. And see, and, and see, man, I'm, I'm not going to lie. There's uh, the last time I was in the gym, man. Yeah, I, I got, I got, I, I, I sat there. I got days, man. And then that's when I was working. So I had worked earlier in the day, uh, got home, went to the gym, was there for first hour, was there for the second hour for sparring. And man, he got me, man. And I just felt I was like, dude, I just I need to chill out, man. I need I need to chill. Were y'all out. going hard? Yeah. Oh yeah. And this guy was my nemesis. Yeah. I always, I always talk about this dude. Yeah. He knows who he is, Kevin. Yeah. But yeah, he he uh, yeah yeah he caught me, man. And then uh, I was there day. There, I, there's a vi- he has a video on it, and he didn't post it or nothing. But but yet again, the guy's younger. He was he's two hundred. I'm I was only I'm only one seventy. Yeah. So I mean. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He was one. But like I said, I learned my lesson, you know. And obviously, you know, he was like, "Oh, you know, my bad." I'm like, ah, "Well, I mean, you know, you know what you were doing already, man. Like, <laughs> you were just doing what was natural, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's all good." But still, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I haven't been back. <laughs> I haven't been back. I, I after that, I kind of I went. I think I went back. No, actually, I didn't go back. And then I just started just running. Yeah. And I had to chill out, man, because. And then that's that's yeah. So then I I, I, I want to go back though. So I still plan on going back. Yeah, get back I, in haven't, there. I haven't been I haven't been away that that long to nah. not want to go back. Nah, so. you can get back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm still trying to stay with the cardio. And then now just I piled out in a few more pounds, but it is what it is. <laughs> so so that that was another question. So you are, are you you're at one. I fight at one fifty five. One fifty five. So do you ever plan on going up, or are you just going to probably just stay at 155? Do you feel comfortable at 155? I feel great at 155. Uh, making 155 is, isn't too bad. Like, yeah, like, it's tough, but, like, it's not too bad. I can do it in a week, you know, with preparation. Uh, I can fight at 170. If somebody wants to fight me at 170, let's fight. I don't, you know, I'm down. So, Have you put on that weight before? Uh, my last fight was scheduled for 170 pounds. Really? Yeah, it ended up falling through last minute because uh, it's it's a terrible story. I was at the this clinic that I always go to to get my physicals and lab works done for um, Fury every year, and I went there and I gave him the paperwork with the blood work that I needed for the fight, and. They ended up uh, signing off on the paperwork, saying, okay, mm-hmm. we'll get it to you in a couple of days, whatever. 
A couple of days later came, they gave me the blood work. I sent it in to Fury, not thinking about nothing, thinking I had everything taken care of. And then the week of the fight, Fury hits me up saying, hey, uh, they sent you the wrong blood work. Like mm -hmm. they sent you, they tested you for a hepatitis B antibody when you need an antibody B antigen test. And I was like, okay, wow. Thanks for telling me the week of, you know, wow. I sent this to you almost over a month ago, but whatever, it's not your fault. So I went back up to the clinic. It, the last time it took me about two days to get my results back. So I'm like, okay, I'll go back to the clinic. Yeah, it was yeah. a Monday. I'll have it ready by the time for the fight. So I went up there and got it done. Told them that you know it was their mistake, and they were like, oh, they apologize, whatever. And they redrew my blood, and they said, okay, give us about two days. Two days later came nothing. Mm -hmm. Three days later nothing. Four days nothing. Damn. It gets to Friday, and I'm like, I need this blood work. So I go up there. I'm like, Hey, what's going on uh, with my blood work? And they're like, Oh, uh, we sent your blood work to California to get tested. Wait, what? <laughs> and they didn't. So they didn't tell you all that. So yeah. they they were. I feel like they were making excuses because you can't tell me you could not have found a test local. Yeah, you know? to do that here in Houston. You could literally just do that, especially Texas medical. Stuff yeah, like so I went. I ended up running around like a goose all Friday trying to get it done, and it just ended up falling through. But it was nobody's fault. Like it was the clinic's fault for sure. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, it wasn't Fury's fault. It really wasn't my fault. I tried to get everything taken care of, you know, and it just ended up falling through. But I was scheduled to fight at 170 pounds, mm -hmm. and uh, I felt great doing that. That was. I was excited, you know, so I'm excited for future matchups at 170, you know, so 155, 170, I, I can fight at both. Yeah. And then ha have you, uh, are, are you, so you have one coming up soon, no? Uh, nothing. Well, yeah. yes, I have a title fight, Fury. I'm fighting uh, November 12th, I believe is the date. Uh, Fury, who, who, I'm fighting for the amateur lightweight title. Cool, man. And, and, um, and who's the fighter you're fighting? Or is it up or still? Uh, somebody agreed to it. Uh, last name, I, I, I can't even remember yeah. his name right now. Uh, but it's I mean, like you, Michael Simmons. Uh, yeah. But I mean, I guess when he gets, I mean, you're saying it's November, right? Uh, November twelfth. Okay, so yeah, so probably about like, yeah. I mean, I'm, I guess that they won't start the marketing probably yeah. until like no, like October. Yeah. So I I got that name, Michael Simmons, and I think he's like three and one amateur. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you, yeah you're already gonna <laughs> you already coming with a game plan already. If he wants to fight, I hope he does. If he does, yeah. great. Like he already said, yeah, I think so. Hopefully, you know. So, so in the jiu-jitsu, are you, are you a certain belt? Or are you, uh... I, have, I have a blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Okay, and then you're still working at that and moving up? Or? I had a grappling super fight uh, a few weeks ago. I won uh, against uh, a grappler from Gracie Baja of the Woodlands. Nice. Uh, he's actually the Elevate MMA 145-pound champ. I'm the 155 pound champ. He's the 145-pound champ. So we did like a champ versus champ catch yeah. weight. Yeah, nice. For Elevate and yeah, so... And then, uh, and then, of course, you've been studying uh, Muay Thai and kickboxing. Yeah, yeah. And then, do you have a specific teacher for that, or or is uh, it the same? You, you... Corley. Cor okay. Corley. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's my head striking coach, head coach, really. Uh, you know, nice. him and Eve's both my head coaches. So Corley, I hit pads with him. You know, pretty much weekly. Nice. Uh, he's great. You know, teaches me a lot. <laughs> Humbles me. <laughs> So what's what's the first thing Donovan does when he wakes up in the morning? Like like what's the first thing that you know? I open my eyes, I chug water. <laughs> yeah. I look at my bed stand and I just chug water. Yeah. And then I uh, get up, wash my face, put get dressed, and get straight in the car because I'm going to the gym. Drive to the gym, get there, stretch, and me and the guys we uh, start warming up. And if it's Monday morning, we're wrestling. If it's Wednesday. We're uh we're sparring. If it's Friday, we're striking. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm doing jujitsu every morning. Nice. Yeah. And so damn yeah, so you're in there four four pretty much four yeah you said like every day except Sundays. Yeah. Damn yeah yeah so, all right cool. Yeah so I, I like I said I, I had wanted to bring you on man and just kind of just get get a you know what was going on with Donovan. Um, so how's your family feel about you being in this? How's your mom feel about you being? 
in in this kind of community. I'm so, sure she worries about you like every like any mom would. Yeah, but like I told you, she's the one that got me into it. Right, anyway. right, right. So. Uh, <laughs> It was crazy. When I first told her I wanted to fight, I don't think she took me seriously. You know, yeah. I don't think she knew that I meant it. Like, because I was playing football at school and I was going to school and I was on the phone with her. I was all like, I really don't want to come back next semester. I can just finish at home. And I, I found a gym that I want to train at. I want to fight. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. She's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, whatever. You want to come on, finish school. Yeah, cool. You want to train. That sounds like something fun you could do, whatever. She probably didn't know I was being like, I wanted to make it a career. So I started fighting, and she, 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 she uh, came to literally all my smokers, every MDL event I had, awesome. every grappling event I had. Yeah. She's been at everything, and even the stuff I don't expect her to show up to. The Jitsu tournament, she's there. So she's my number one supporter, literally. She's nah, my number one awesome. supporter, and she loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah. loves it. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's, that's what moms supposed to do, you know? <laughs> Mom, moms are supposed to show up and, you know, support yeah. their baby, you know? But that's cool. Any siblings? In- I, have a, I have a sister. Okay. I have cool. an older sister. And so that's cool. So she has a brother that protects her or can protect her now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My sister's crazy, though. So. <laughs> older or younger? She's older. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But that's still cool, you know? It's always good to have a fighter in the family, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah, my mom, she definitely feels safe with me at home. Uh, my stepdad, he's a ex-Marine. Well, not ex- You can't be ex-Marine. He's a vet- military veteran. He's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never want to say the ex-Marine. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I apologize. No, no, it's all good. Because uh, <laughs> it's funny because uh, uh, Ari, Ari, which is another fighter I had yes. on, and she, uh, her dad was a Marine. And yes, yeah, same. And then I, I, I guess I told her even on that interview, I explained that I go, I think it's a, it's a common thing, you yeah. know, to be, um, you know, they're they're good mentors, and then just some of the things they come off, and then just seeing somebody who's military, they just have that strictness or that discipline, you know. Kind of, like I said, it's all relative. So that's why I said, you know, um, when I had when I had caught up with you, I was like, yo, man, you, you have some discipline, bro, like to. Like, wake up in the morning, have that already in your mind, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And like you said, you already have it in your head, too, that sometimes you ain't always the best, but then sometimes you want to be the best, you know? Yeah. Obviously, majority of the time you want to be the best, but, you only know. Only time it matters if you're the best is when you're in the cage. That's the only time it matters. <laughs> Every other time does not matter if you're the best at what you're doing. It's just learning. Uh, but I, got, I feel like I got that from my mom because when I was younger, my mom... She would drop me off at football practice, basketball practice, and if I was there just trying to socialize, talk, and make friends, then she would be like, hey, look, you're not going to come back to basketball practice if you're here to make friends, and I'm not going to come to your games Mm -hmm. at school. I'm not going to do any of that if you're just trying to do this just to be social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I I really took that seriously because I was like, wow, well, okay, so... Everything I do, I'm like, well, I'm going to put 100% of my effort into it because nobody really cares unless you're serious about it. If you're not serious about it, how do you expect anybody else to be serious about it? So Yeah, no, that's true. You learned that young. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really young. Yeah. yeah. But, but I mean, that's what I was saying. I mean, I'm sure, like, you know, you, like I've said it before, I mean, um, you know, I, I've been through some things, but then, like, even on my end, you know, it just never want to make the mom upset you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i've learned that too you know over time especially you know i mean but it took me a minute man and then even me learning um i look back and you know yeah it's just just um uh, you know you're, you're sitting in that direction and and i know i i think that's pretty cool because even when i was younger i would always try to ask my mom to like put me into karate but then sometimes she couldn't afford it yeah so then you know but then I eventually i got older and i got into it you know and and yeah, it's it, it's uh, I, I just think it's very good when a when a parent like you know pretty put, put pretty much puts their you know chats with them, talks to their child, and you know directs them into something like that, you know, yeah. or supports them pretty much. Just support, yeah, 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 yeah just but support. You have to let them know that you're only going to support what they themselves are putting into. You yeah, know? true. So if you're putting into it, I'm gonna support you fully. If you're not, then how do you expect me to take you serious right yeah that's a real lesson <laughs> i mean i like i said it, i man i mean you, if you're man you're already there bro like you're you're you already have that maturity of that discipline and and it, it took me <laughs> it took me a minute and and uh even took me where i was in the military where it took me to have to realize you know like either you're gonna do something or not do it mm. meaning uh like work out you know be be the guy that's going to be qualified on everything you need to be qualified for just and like you said when 
crap hits the fan, you know, obviously you want to be ready. And, you know, if, if something was to happen, we were going to be ready because we were already trained, you know. Yeah. And I, I feel it's like the same mentality. But even in the in the military, we um, we ran a lot, um, push-ups, sit-ups. Wasn't a Marine, but, I mean, obviously in the Navy, we still had to be physically fit. And then um, even on the ship, it was just it just always helped out that we had a gym there and three squares a day and sleep. Yeah. And that was pretty much it. And, you know, took away a lot of fast food places, took away, like, clubs, like, all this other extra crap. When we were there on the ship, that was it, you know. That was, it just kind of took a lot of our things that, you know, that that you would want to take advantage of that you didn't have, you know, you weren't able to. So kind of simplified that. But nah, man, Donovan, uh, I'm, I'm just glad you came, man. I just, I just wanted to get you in here. So uh, so we, we should be looking forward, you said November... November twelfth, no, Fury. November twelfth, Fury, and then uh, so I mean, yeah. So and then real quick, so like, well, what are the goals? I mean, you're you're looking up, you know, just I guess continue going to. I mean, is because I, I, I know in Louisiana there's still another promotion company out there too that I know a lot of guys from Paradigm and a lot of guys from Main Street they go out there as well. Um, but I don't know what's what's that promotion out there that you've gone to. Uh, I went to Bayou Fighting Championships. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. But they have a few out there, I'm sure. And then, um, so but but man, Fury's like where it's at right now in Houston. Yeah, Fury, Fury, Fury's. Uh, you know they got the UFC Fight Pass thing going on. You know they got really close connections with the UFC. So is that a common thing? So every time that a Fury fight does happen. UFC is there, or is it just because nah. it's being shown at UFC? There obviously there's some executives watching. They have executives, executives a part of production, yeah. And then obviously, I mean, I mean do you know anybody who's gotten picked out of there or from UFC? No, from Fury. Oh, I guess. from Fury. Yeah. Uh, I had a, my teammate Cam. Uh, he got an opportunity to find a contender series uh, this summer. You know, he lost his fight, but he got opportunity. Oh. Uh, there's been a few people like. Josh Van recently uh-huh. was fighting for Fury. He was a flyweight champion, and he's I think he already made his UFC debut. One, oh, uh-huh. yeah, one. Uh, yeah, there's been a few people. I think Diego Lopez is another one. Or so there's been a bunch of people from Fury that I've been seeing getting opportunities. And then, is there any guy, any guys you like to watch that, that you kind of look up to, like in your in your weight, or I guess even in maybe I guess the weight up. Uh, like in the UFC? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say. Uh, well, I guess I, li- I like Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you like about Dustin? I like he puts hands on people. Yeah. <laughs> he puts hands on them. Yeah, yeah, man. I I like yeah. Dustin. Dustin's uh like like he he yeah he uh, uh. Yeah, he backs cool. up what he says. You know? I like I like Dustin. I like Jamal Hill. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Jamal Hill. He's funny. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> he's yeah, funny, dude. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I'll be watching some of his posts and stuff. Yeah, yeah he's, he's funny. posts are funny, and he puts hands on people. If you put hands on people, you got me. And then <laughs> um, I got to have your prediction, too, before we yeah. go. Uh, I guess, well, I'm looking forward to the Casas and Chamal. Hmm? Well, what's your prediction on that? Casas and Chamal. Okay. I have to always Costa, messed up. I see Chamal as a future world champion. Chimaev can be a future world champion. Hmm. Costa, I don't see Costa becoming world champion. Yeah, I think he's just another, like... uh, I don't see him becoming... Not saying that he can't. He's a talented dude, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. I I think he's beyond his prime, though. Yeah, I mean, I just don't see him become a world champion. I don't. He... I don't think he... He'll do it at middleweight. If he... he, Maybe he can go up weight class and do something. He's, He's super big. You know, he's a big dude. Big dude. But uh, Chimaev, yeah, he's a beast. And I think he's going to put on him. Okay, and then uh, um, Carlos. No, I'm sorry. Ah, I messed this up. Um, or Oliveira. Okay. Oliveira and... Uh, yeah, yeah. And the rematch? And see, where it is that, that um, he didn't want to... I guess he didn't want any of this UFC behind commentary vlogging. He didn't want none of that. Oliveira didn't want nothing to do yeah. with that. I guess I don't know how true it was, but apparently you you haven't seen any marketing on him at all. You've seen a little marketing on the other fight, Costas and the other guy, but uh, but nothing on his fight. I don't know. So in the rematch, Oliveira is great. He's talented. Yeah, it's great. You know. 
but Makachev is a beast. Yeah. You know? Um, but I don't know. He almost got taken by, you know. Styles make fights. Yeah. And just the style of Makachev is not a good matchup for Oliveira. Yeah. You know, it's just not a good matchup. Yeah. So, I, but I don't know. We could, yet again, we could be surprised again. You know, that's the whole beauty about UFC. You know, yeah. or just in general, some of these fights. You just you you think, but I always like to say it before the fact because now I, I'm gonna try to do this where if I can catch you know recording before the fights and kind yeah. of for prediction, and then be like, ah, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we said it, we said, it. yeah, I, I believe it. Uh, Costas is not gonna win. And I believe, yeah, Oliver is not going to win either. <laughs> I believe the same shit. But it just sucks because it's just like those are There's great prime they're, fighters, yeah, they're man. They're great fighters. And that's what I was, that's, but that's what but trips me out, too. Great like fights. Yeah, their they're level, their they're level, their they're game level, man, is just... And then it's still like, even at that point, they're, <laughs> they're still not good enough at a certain point. On, on both ends, mm-hmm. you know? So, I mean, like I said, man, I, I, I love watching fighting because it's just a game that you watch and and it's all about you know who wins in the end you know and and it just goes from there but i appreciate it for coming in yeah for sure man thanks for inviting me and and uh so now you know where it's at and yeah. you know um i would like to have you back after you win that fight yeah so I bring the belt yeah 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 that'd be badass yeah Hell yeah <laughs> all right Don, well thank you for coming yes sir and uh have you on next time, you know, and, and good luck on your fight and good luck on your training and, and keep that good work up, man. It's, it's badass. Thanks, man. All right, cool.